Good morning. Rumi and her boyfriend are at brunch, so I'm taking this opportunity to do a little grocery haul. I only bought like random snacks. What's like a good, nothing is like that high up in here. Cool, whatever. You're literally on a C's chocolate box. I went to Sprouts. I went to get coffee before and the coffee shop I always go to was closed today. I was like, cause I swear to God they are always closed when I go. Like what is it, is it me? You guys can tell me, but my skin, like I've been saying, has been super bad, so I picked up more bio -K. I've been taking a break from this stuff, but I'm getting a FaceTime from Amanda, and the dishwasher's going off. Oh, she hung up on me. I answered. I'll call her back. bio -K blueberry, this stuff is good dairy-free. It helps with your gut. I picked up some Smart Sweets. This is the stuff that's supposed to be kind of like, um, Starburst, I've already had one and it's like the morning time. For my late night cravings is like why I got these, but also I got um, these. It's Nature's Bakery Brownie. It comes with like little two like healthy brownies. I don't know. I got more rice cakes, I was so mad. My favorite rice cake flavor is cinnamon toast and they didn't have it. That's all I got. No, I got other things. I got milk. That was the whole point. So the whole, let me just take you on this journey. The whole reason I even went and left my house today is because I was out of milk for coffee. I was out of milk, so I went to get milk. But instead I decided to treat myself to coffee first and then the coffee shop was closed. <laughs> it's so funny, my pantry is so full and Brittany's just like nothing. Okay, that's gonna fall everywhere. I need to really go through my pantry though because I feel like it's full of stuff that like I don't even cut. Side note, um, I love to reuse these. I don't know if you guys ever drink cold brew, chameleon cold brew, but you can soak this in hot water. Just take the cap off, soak it in hot water, and then this label is super easy to peel off. And that's what I use to like propagate more plants. But I already have enough and I feel like I'm overdoing it, so. I'm trying this cold brew today for the first time. Stock, it was so much cheaper than chameleon. My coffee routine, I'm so sorry if it's like so loud, you guys. I do a lot of cold brew, like I'm a fiend, honestly. And then I do the Califia Barista um, co uh, milk, but I actually prefer Oatly, but they, I feel like it's a, I'm having a fever dream. Like I remember there being an Oatly Barista edition. Yeah, there definitely is. It's just, it's this color, so whatever. The barista edition just has way more fat, but I prefer that because it's like way creamier. Like it just makes it a lot more like milky. And then I do a little bit of the Tarani French vanilla sugar free. I prefer just regular vanilla, but I didn't realize that when I bought it. I just like do a little pour because it's, it's really strong. This stuff is great just to add like a quick sweetness. It's liquid stevia from um, Trader Joe's. Oh my god, that's perfect. The thing with nut milks is like it's and oat milks is that a lot of times they're really watery. The barista edition is the move. <laughs> no, no, start the sh talking now. You want to come peek your head in? No. Don't you dare. Oh, you just said it. You just incriminated. No. Incriminated. Yes. <laughs> I think it makes you relatable. Four male dining room. <laughs> Today, Brittany was reading a sign on an available apartment and it said formal dining room and she straight up said four male. I said, I think the word is formal. They were selling the mail room. <laughs> what do you mean the mail room? Like I was just thinking like, oh, like comes with the mail, like comes with mailbox, I don't know. I feel really that out of it today. There we go. Vitamin C.
I got out of the shower and um, I feel like my hair looks really nice for once, which made me feel so good because if you guys follow me on Instagram, you might know that I used to wear extensions and I was struggling with growing my hair out for so long and no joke, like I think the pandemic kind of helped because I just took out my extensions and I stopped doing heat on it and I just let it grow and I stopped dyeing it and it's been so much healthier. And if you guys wanna know what I use, I take um, a biotin that I have listed in my, like if you go on my Instagram in my bio, there's a link to my Amazon favorites. The biotin I take is there. My skin's also breaking out, so it could be from that. You guys just, depends on what you want more. <laughs> I also use Olaplex number six. I'm literally out of this stuff. Like if you guys can see it is, the only stuff left is like right there. I started using Alterna, the caviar stuff. This stuff's really great. I use the leave-in mousse and I like the mousse because I feel like it gives me a little extra something, something. Heat protectant, I've been using a mix, either this stuff. Alterna also sent me their heat protectant, um, but it comes out in this very interesting like jelly consistency and I'm not sure it's supposed to be like that. Actually, I'm gonna use a little bit of this because I'm just in the mood to like use products right now. Um, it is Sunday, Brittany and I just hiked Runyon. Car alarm finally stopped. I kind of like when YouTubers though just set up their camera and they like go about their lives. Like I don't need them to be like sitting down talking to me. Let me know if you guys like that too. Okay, uh, I feel like, do I wanna wear these? To the grocery store. Oh my god, I actually feel really cool. Guys, we're back from Smart and Final. My hair has dried a little. We are gonna get ready together, and I asked you guys to ask me some questions, so I'm just gonna do like a really chill q and I'm gonna tell you guys something. I hate you! Oh my god. Let's go into these questions. Oh my god, I love these questions already off the bat. Favorite decom from Sam the Cosmic, Cosmic Witch. Probably, well, this is not a decom I've learned, which is such a bummer because it's my favorite Disney movie, but apparently it was an ABC movie, it is Wish Upon a Star. And I know most of you guys that know me and like know my vibe, you guys know that movie. Alexia Wheaton, that was Katherine Heigl, and um, movie like Pretty Popular Girl, and she switches bodies with her younger sister and you know I love that movie I love model behavior which apparently is also not a decom I really loved like cheetah girls I really loved um, uh, anything with Hillary Duff how tall are you you seem short oh really that's so interesting I'm actually tall I'm 5'8 this is from Rosen Steph what helps you get through tough body image days oh that's not what I want that's a really good question and it's something I'm trying to figure out right now because I've kind of had this moment with myself where I'm just really not feeling great with my body. I was talking about it earlier. Um, and I really hate that because I really have preached like um, intuitive eating. I think the pandemic has just been hard on us all and like someone like me who really struggles with motivation um, working out it's hard to work out at home for me. I just like, I never want to do it. I'm, I literally find it so hard to get up out of bed to go work out in my own house because I do enjoy walking and hiking and those are probably the two things I've been trying to do the most, but I'm just trying to be, go easy on myself and like, and be patient and know that this is not going to be my body forever. I can get myself the body I want. <laughs> okay, Scotty. No, I have never smoked a clove cigarette, I don't think. I've never smoked a cigarette, but one time I was in Mexico. This was like one of the most impulsive, like fun things I've ever done. I went to Mexico with a group of people and that's so not like me, but they, cause they were people I didn't know. I literally never met them. And we went and I was, I'm so not go with the flow, you guys. One thing about me, like I am so, I always think I'm gonna die and I'm just not really go with the flow. And so I remember getting to Mexico and our phones weren't working and I was like, Oh my God, like I'm in Mexico and I don't have a working phone and like what if I get murdered? But it ended up being such a fun trip, but I remember smoking a cigarette there, but it was like, I hardly smoked it. I like had a hit of it, is that what you'd say? Maddie Schuyler, are you originally from Cali? Yes, I am. Cali girl through and through. I've never lived outside of California, which is kind of a regret of mine, but it's never too late. Are you, are we gonna hear more from Validate Me in 2021? You know, we've all kind of, without really saying it, like kind of 
bid adieu to validate me. Um, we had a lot of fun doing it. We never took it too seriously, which is like why I think it worked is because we just ended up like meeting and having fun. We all lived close to get close by each other. So we would just like go and meet up for like over an hour. And anytime we tried to take it seriously and like try to make money from it, it just became too much of a chore. I can't really explain it, but it just like was never something I went into with so much like motivation to be this big thing and whatever but I did have so much fun with Michael and Miranda Miranda is like still one of my best friends I literally went to dinner with her last night we hang out all the time like we always go for walks together and so that's like not anything there's been nothing dramatic about it but I personally had a really hard time doing a podcast during the pandemic I especially in the beginning I just like I didn't want to talk about I'm a very sensitive person. I'm very sensitive to energies and I really just didn't want to talk about what was going on in the world. Like I literally, I wanted to drown it out with listening to like podcasts about skincare and not. Ooh, Alana Sheehan. What are some celebs you've met? It's so funny because all I do is spend like my time on Dumois. Well, Depends on how, what you mean by met. I used to work in restaurants in Hollywood. I've worked at like five or six restaurants in Hollywood, West Hollywood, all over, and you meet tons of celebrities. Now, I wouldn't say I like met them and became their best friends. I'm like, I remember Joe Jonas came into the restaurant I was working at, and he asked me to charge his phone, and we were not allowed to charge people's phones at all because someone had gotten their phone stolen, blah, blah, blah. And I literally had to say no to Joe Jonas. Like, that was, that broke my heart because I, am and was the biggest Jonas Brothers fan, so. I went on a date with a famous singer once. I've like talked about it kind of openly on podcasts and stuff, but like for some reason I can't bring myself to say it on my own. Katie, I love you too. Highlight and low light of 2020. Highlight, um, my hair grew. <laughs> Highlight was probably, there was like a pressure that was taken off. I've been able to, enjoy downtime a little more. I'm a big introvert, so I didn't mind like having not a ton to do. I would say low, it's hard to pick. I mean, I would say it's been hard to get out of like a fitness routine for me and that's something I've already talked about, but like, it's just really hard. Like I've, I've always really struggled with my relationship with my body and with food. So it's definitely been um, interesting. All right, well, those were some questions that, that you guys asked me in the first like 20 minutes. Sorry, I didn't ask it, giving you guys a ton of time to write in, but maybe I'll answer more when I film a little bit more either later or tomorrow. That's the final look.